demonstrated why is a very powerful machine. We have to know its weaknesses. For one, it's absolutely an artillery magnet. It's relatively slowish and it's a huge, not so well armored machine. 60 mm of rather flat armor all around means that Apart from artillery, a lot of the same and lower tier tanks will have no problem going through it. And as it's such a big and relatively cumbersome target as well, with only 30 degrees per second hull traverse, if they get around you, you are in a world of trouble. Now beginning of the match, we are hoping for somebody to poke that corner, but so far the enemy team seems to be rather passive. Now this is not the... whoops, and what do we have there? Hmm, poor tier 4 tank. Well, let's put him out of his misery. <laughs> oh yeah, and you will see a lot more of those in this match. 0.36 meters dispersion, no problem at all. Other side of the map, small light tank. Who cares, we are Soviet tank, we have Soviet accuracy. And actually, Soviet accuracy will be our friend throughout this match. I have to say, Stalin definitely guys these ones. I mean, look at that. It wasn't even perfectly aimed at the center. It did fly through though. So, so far, two shots, two kills. And, well, it seems that that was about it on this flank. So let's go into the city, see what we can find there. At least we will be somewhat artillery safe as well, which is always nice and... Mm, that's Bert the Avenger. Hello, my friend. Say hello to my huge Soviet derp gun. Well, to be frank, this is not a really derp gun. It's just a very, very dangerous one. The gun on this thing has really, really nice AP rounds, actually, which we'll be, we will be firing. And, oh, that wasn't even fair, was it? So we will fire AP shells all throughout the match. And these things have almost 200 mm of penetration at tier 6. Holy crap. 196 mm average penetration, 440 average damage. Oh, nom 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 nom. So, here we go. Mm, back of Matilda. That looks rather tasty. And there are a lot of enemy tanks on our sides and we are giving them a big target to shoot at. So the plan is, Matilda down, let's quickly get out of harm's way. And we have been rather lucky to get away with only such minor damage. That was probably the Matilda who managed to shoot our back. Back of the turret, as we can see there. So you can just see how powerful this machine is when it has this kind of matchmaking. ARM-44, dangerous machine. Should be a priority target. There we go, and he is fully upgraded, so he can definitely take a big chunk out of our health. So let's quickly take him out. Five kills already. And the team is winning by quite a bit. But luckily, slow enough and look at that. Oh wow. It was quite obvious where the Matilda was shooting from. And we just blind shot it that corner. How great was that? Oops, that's the famous buffed up. But not anymore. And that means there is only the heads are remaining on this flank. And, well, oh, he's shooting AP. So sorry for you. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Almost ram him over. And then finish him. With a shot so he can get rid of this nightmare. Eight kills. But what's left is artillery and the Hellcat. The two things that, that are actually very dangerous. Even on us. So, let's play it safe. Artillery could be out in the field as well, or it could be just to our right, at the edge of the map, or around the lake. And we really don't want that Hummel to derp his monstrous gun in our sides, and there he is. Luckily, just 